powerful people. Encyclopedia Galactica presents biographies of notable people in the galaxy. This week, Lee Yong Rui. If there's one thing Lee Yong Rui knows about, that one thing is making money. Chief executive of the Sirius Corporation, Lee is in charge of what is perhaps the wealthiest and most powerful organisation in the galaxy with fingers in as many pies as there are pies to put fingers in. A sprightly, young, 108-year-old Lee, who is part of the Lee dynasty, who have been closely intertwined with the history of the Sirius Corporation for the past 750 years, did rather well in college, earning doctorates in physics, politics and economics, all by the age of 25, which is when he joined the Sirius Corporation. Within ten years he'd become their Vice President of Forecasting, the man entrusted with the crystal ball, and he quite correctly forecast that he himself would become head of the governmental wing of Sirius and ultimately the entire organization's CEO. Sirius governs by running star systems as corporate businesses. For members of the Pilots' Federation, perhaps the biggest attraction is the 15% discount on modules from the Sirius Gov base in Lembava and in other controlled systems. The Sirius Corporation is also the primary supplier of frameshift drive technology, something that has made a bigger impact for trade and for the exploration of the galaxy than any other development in history. Even before the invention of the frameshift drive, Sirius was a prime mover in interstellar travel. The tragic loss of the Antares Highliner in 3251 was an early and uncharacteristic stumble along the road that led to the development of a then-revolutionary hyperdrive technology. It wasn't until January 3302 that the wreckage of the Antares was found, at the behest of Lee Yong ri himself, and by that time the drive technology had been superseded. It's not entirely clear just how the Sirius Corporation got its hands on this new frameshift drive technology, nor where it came from. There are persistent rumours that the Alliance developed the technology by reverse engineering captured Thargoid ships, and that the designs were then inexplicably leaked to the Sirius Corporation. Because of Sirius, it's not just Alliance ships that have the frameshift drive. By 3300, Every interstellar ship in the galaxy had a Sirius manufactured frameshift drive. An excellent example of Lee's impeccable business scruples is his offer to work with engineer Ram Tar. In October 3304, Sirius offered to take over manufacturing of Tar's Guardian inspired designs from the technology brokers making the technology available to the whole galaxy and freeing up Ramtar to concentrate on developing new products. Despite Tar's rejection of such a generous offer, Lee was still willing to extend the hand of friendship. When Tar's base was broken into, apparently in an attempt to steal the Guardian technology blueprints, Sirius offered to help provide better security to help the struggling engineer. When Tar then accused Lee of having orchestrated the attack and provided tangible evidence having detained several of the attackers and having identified them as members of the Sirius Defence Force, Lee was not angry. Instead, he carried out a thorough investigation of his own and discovered that several junior Sirius employees had most regrettably decided to try and steal the technology for reasons of their own. Lee assured Tar that he would not tolerate such actions from employees of the corporation, and that the offending officers might be locked up for a very long time indeed. Lee stands ready to confront the Thargoids, or at any rate to sell outfitting components to those who stand ready to confront the Thargoids. He has pointed out that even with the Thargoids invading, pretty much everything in the galaxy has continued to function as normal. Our survival instincts and ingenuity, he said, will keep our societies functioning for a long time to come. And of course, we'll keep the money rolling in to the Sirius Corporation. Trivia Lee likes fluffy white cats and loves sitting in his black leather swivel chair. He keeps sharks in his private aquarium. 
He likes marshmallows melted in hot chocolate, but not the pink ones. His favourite author is Barbara Cartland, and his favourite band is Brotherhood of Man. His favourite colour is blue, and his favourite joke is You cannot be serious, because I am. Tune in next week for another of the galaxy's powerful people.